You can adjust the password policies for your Salesforce organization in the password policies screen under security and setup. And in this screen, there's a few things that may be helpful for you personally, especially for your free developer account. Now in the workplace, however, these password policies are usually dictated for you by your IT department or the chief technical officer or someone in that sort of role that makes those decisions. But I would encourage you, if you're learning Salesforce and if you're in a Trailhead account, a Playground on Trailhead, or one of the free Salesforce developer accounts, you may want to consider changing the password policies to where your password will never expire so that you're not being prompted every three months to reset your password and use a new password. And then as well, you can change this to where this enforced password history means that you can't change your password to any of the three previous passwords that you've had. You can change that to no passwords remembered. So you can revert back to an old password and reuse it. This would not be the greatest for security settings for a real org, but for your learning environment, it should be fine. And the goal here is to try to avoid getting locked out of your developer account. And so if you have it to where it never expires, and then also you can set this maximum invalid login attempts to no limit. So you can keep trying and keep trying. In the real world, you wouldn't want to do this because that would invite hackers to try and hack into your account. And this is org-wide settings as well and not individual users. You can also set the complexity requirements for your passwords as well as the minimum length in characters for your password. So once you have everything set, then it's just a matter of clicking save and then you can make adjustments in the future by going back into password policies. And interestingly enough, this takes you directly to edit mode instead of having to click edit or anything. So you can go in and make adjustments. So these are hopefully some helpful tips in helping you to not get locked out of your free Salesforce account by setting your password to never expire and not setting a limit on your invalid login attempts. And if you are unable to log in, you can always go through the forgot password process and Salesforce will send you a confirmation link via email and you should be able to get back into your org. So if you found this tip on password policies helpful, please do like and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below for what you would like to learn in Salesforce. I might make it my next video. Until then, I'll see you in the cloud.